Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to set up and use Pipeline inside Studio One. If you've been doing this for a little while, or you've been doing it for a long while, you may have dived into the world of analog processing. Analog processing is using any type of hardware to actually process the audio signal, and we can do this after the fact inside Studio One by using Pipeline. Maybe you want to use a new outboard compressor that you got. That's what we're going to do today. So let's dive into the DAW and take a look at how to set up and calibrate Pipeline. So here we are inside the session, and we're going to start off by working with a mono signal. That's going to be this purple bass DI that's right here. And what we're going to be doing is I have an outboard DBX166 compressor. It's an old unit from the 80s, and we're going to do a little outboard compression on this bass channel. First, let's go over how to set up Pipeline. What you're going to want to do is go into your song setup and make sure that your I.O. is set up to use an additional set of outputs and inputs on your interface. This is going to be different for everyone because not everyone is using the same interface. Right now, I'm using a Quantum 2626. So first, I'm going to think of how I'm going to get the signal out. I'm going to go to the outputs and I've already done this, but I've created a stereo output and I've named it DBX166 Stereo. I know that I'm using line outputs three and four, so I've already assigned three and four. Because we're gonna be doing this on a mono bass track, I've also created two mono sends just under that. These mono sends are using the same outputs, but because I have them named differently and output to different channels, I can use both channels as mono compressors or at any time, I can use both channels simultaneously as a stereo compressor. Okay, we have it set up to go out of our system. Now let's think about how to get it back in. We go into the inputs and you do essentially the same thing. You make, or I have made, a stereo return if I'm using the stereo version of the compressor or two mono returns. Don't feel like you need to copy which outputs and inputs I'm using. Find the ones that work with your interface and your setup and use those ones. Okay, everything for our IO is all set up, so I'm just gonna hit okay. And now let's go back to our base channel right here. I'm gonna throw in pipeline mono. Now, this is how it pops up when it first comes in. And you may notice something. There's an offset of zero samples, but there's already a millisecond delay. And this is based on your buffer and block settings inside Studio One. If I go back to my settings, I have 512 as my block size at a sample rate of 96K. My input and output latency are right here as well. Now, there looks to be discrepancies, but you'll see in a minute that it already has done the calculations to make sure that the signals going out of your system come back at the same time and they've delay compensated everything else to meet this. Let me show you what I mean. Let's continue setting it up and we'll take a listen. So first, let's think about how we have to get it out. We need to do our send. Since we named it before, we're going to use DBX1, line output 3. Then we need to think about how we get it back. And that's over here. And you do DBX return in 3. Now, if this was something that was always in my system, I could actually go here and name it. You could also do a lot of other things. If you had a photo of the unit, or maybe you wanted to take a photo later of the settings, you could load it in by hitting the three buttons up here and finding the file and saving it. Okay, so we thought about it. We have our sends going. We have our return set up. We've named it. Okay, now very quickly, we're gonna talk about the next step in setting up pipeline, and that's actually calibrating the outputs and returns of our analog gear. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a tone generator before the pipeline. So we already know that the pipeline sends and returns are all set, but what we wanna do is send a signal to the gear to make sure that it's receiving signal and that we're getting our returns. So like I said, we have a tone generator right before pipeline mono. Now, I'm just gonna do these side by side real quick, and I did the pin on pipeline. And I wanna show you something. A lot of people will tell you to do a calibration at minus 18 dBFS. I'm gonna alter it to be minus 20, and I'm gonna show you why. It's because on our scale of the send levels here, there is an LED for minus 20. So 
I know if I'm sending out minus 20 and the scale here is seeing minus 20, then I know on the return, I can also line up that minus 20. And if everything is the same, then we're good to go. So I have my compressor in bypass. I'm gonna turn on the tone generator and there we go. We are sending signal and we are seeing signal on the way back in. And we can see that they're both set to minus 20. If we go to minus six, everything is the same. Now I'm gonna take it out of bypass. We could see that there was a dB increase and now I can actually adjust the output gain of my compressor and you can see it's going up and down. So I'm gonna put it back to zero and zero lines up. Now we know once we actually start compressing our signal, we're going to have gain reduction and we can use our output gain that I have available on this unit to make up anything that's reduced in the compression. Let's get out of calibration and into actually compressing the signal. So here we go. I'm gonna turn off pipeline and I'm gonna unmute our bass and let's listen to the bass and drums together real quick. Then as we're listening, I'll throw on pipeline and start doing some compression with my outboard gear. So there we go, we were able to use our outboard compressor and compress that bass signal and make it a little bit tighter. And that's exactly what we were going for. Now let's move on to using a stereo instance of Pipeline. I'm actually just gonna turn this one off because we're gonna reuse that same channel. I'm gonna go to this channel right here, my drum crush. So here's something else that I wanna show you. I know that on my compressors, I do have an output gain makeup, but Something to balance out that you can do with your interface is the return channels. I know that I am sending a minus six dB calibration signal out of pipeline to my compressor. I also can see, according to my meters over here, that the side we've already calibrated is correct, but the output of the second channel isn't giving us the output. Now, instead of increasing the output gain on that channel, let me look at my interface and see if it is correct. Now, thankfully on the 2626, I have the input trim knobs right on the front panel here. And I know my return on channel four is too low. So I can start to gain it up. And there we go. I'm at zero on my compressor. And now I have properly set the input on my 2626 to have unity gain. Now that we have that, I can turn the tone generator off and get it out of here. And now we can actually start doing some parallel compression on these drums. I'm gonna turn the bass off and let's just have some fun. This unit has a stereo link, so I'm going to engage it. And now let's do some parallel compression.
And there we go, we've used an outboard compressor using pipeline stereo to do some parallel compression on our kick and snare. And you saw right at the end there, I was able to take it out and then blend it back into taste. So there's something I haven't gone over, and that is the wrench icon right here. So something you're gonna wanna check is when you hit the wrench, the orange line is your send signal and your blue line is your return. And you want these to one, be lined up, and two, be as close as possible to being the same signal coming back in. So the amplitude being the same, that means that you're calibrated on your send and your return. I got pretty close just by doing it with the meters here and by eye. If you hit auto, it will try and adjust the offset if there is any discrepancies. But we can see here that there are no discrepancies. The timing is spot on. If you've been interested in using any outboard gear during your mixes before, Pipeline is the way to get out of your system and into the analog world, and then bring it right back on the same channel. It will automatically compensate all of the other tracks for any delay that may happen in the conversion getting out and back in. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.